Uh, this is an exciting time in the history of the Sioux City Community Schools where we have just uh, begun to open uh, our newest elementary school, which actually replaced our oldest elementary school. Uh, the former Bryant Elementary uh, that stood at this location uh, was actually created in the late 1880s, which wasn't last century, but the century before. And after uh, quite a long process of working with our city and working with uh, the community uh, to understand the best location to replace Bryant, uh, we built the new Bryant Elementary just right where the old one once stood. And so uh, it's been a long process. It's been a good process. Uh, we engaged our staff members and, and our students had to uh, spend a little time on another campus for a few years while, while we were constructing this school. But we are very happy with the results. It took a long time uh, for us to get to this particular project. And the reason why is because it's in the central corridor, there's not a 10 acre plot of land sitting anywhere that was just unused. And so it took us a long time to look at, I believe, seven different potential building sites uh, before we settled on this particular site, which is the site where Bryant once stood, but it's larger than where Bryant once stood. The city was a great partner to us as they helped us close a short section of, of a road that was in this community, 30th Street, if you will. Uh, and uh, the architect and the community members as we wrestled through the very difficult decision of where to place this. And uh, I think when people come by, drive by, or even come and visit the school, they'll be very happy with the result. You know, some other, other building sites like, like Liberty or, or even Perry Creek, you know, we have somewhere between 10 and 15 acres of a plot of land to build on. Here at Bryant, we built on just over four acres, and, and yet the building is very close to the same size as some of those other facilities that I mentioned. So we've got about a 106, 108,000 square foot building on this four acre property. And it's really important to note that today, we've got all these needs for parking and playground space that they might not have had in 1889 when the building was originally created. Obviously, there weren't that many vehicles. Uh, back at that time. And so uh, it's important to note that with city code and some of the different things that we need to follow today, we'd love to have a 10 acre plot of land, but what worked best for our community was this four acre plot of land. So we did build up instead of building out. Uh, and I believe the result works very smooth. Yeah, th this building's unique because it's on the smallest uh, size platform that we've ever built, uh, being just over four acres. Uh, it's a three story elementary school where we would Obviously, if, if we had you know, no challenges at all, we'd build on a, on a much larger plot of ground because uh, a, a single level school is often uh, less expensive. It also is often far more easy to traverse where you don't have to have an elevator and, and the stairwells and that sort of thing. Um, but I'm real pleased with the work that the architect did with our own operations and maintenance department and the staff members here at Bryant who helped design this facility uh, because I think the flow will be very smooth. Uh, it's not the same as maybe some of the others that we've opened most recently, uh, but I think it will serve students very well. You know, I'm, I'm thankful that, that we ended up with the project that we did. Um, you know, early in the process, we, we had looked at, at a, a, another area near here where we could spread out a little bit and, and do some things. Uh, but when uh, we, we had a community member that stepped forward and said, you know, we think we, you could do it right here on the site. And, and that community member, John Gleason, uh, even helped us with, with some architects work going forward. And uh, in doing so and in, in creating this design, I think the flow is really nice. I mean, you know, we don't have often uh, the stairwells that have such big bright windows in them like you'll see when we do a tour later today. Uh, because in many of our schools, we don't have stairwells because it's a single single story school. Um, I think the architect did a nice job with that, found a way to put the essential um, programs and spaces on the middle level, if you will, uh, which is the ground level from one side of the building, and it's it's the second story from the from the other side. So we refer to this as the main level. Uh, you know, it has a lower level and an upper level as well, and I think it's as accessible as it can be with a multi-story building. Just having a lot of space, the gym space, the media, um, you know, electrical outlets that everybody can plug into and work, that work really well. So I'm excited about all of those things. Everybody misses the old one and we miss certain spots in it and you can always remember even the smells and the locations of things and so people often refer to, uh, for example, we had a workroom in the old building that was pretty uh, 
Um, it was like a closet, kind of, and so we have lovely new workrooms now, and we really enjoy our new space. But we always think back to that. So we had many good times in the old building and happy memories there, and we're excited to make new memories here at Bryan School. <laughs>